All right, good day everybody. My name is Gary. Thank you very kindly for taking the time to join me this afternoon for my Thursday shave. It is October 31st, 2024, which would make it Halloween. And it's a miserable looking day outside here in Southwest Ontario, Canada. And uh, that confirms to me that it's Halloween. I, geez, when I was growing up here, I don't recall very many Halloweens where the weather was very nice. It always seemed to be either snowing or raining or windy. And uh, today it's particularly windy and they're calling for a chance of uh, rain later on in the evening. So uh, the kids are going to have uh, somewhat of a miserable night but this, by the sounds of things. But I'm sure that won't dampen their spirits when it comes to uh, getting some candy. Okay, i got to sneak up for a minute. I've got uh, some new toys uh, delivered to me today that I want to show you. So I will be right back. All right, gang, I'm back and here is what I got. A Ralph Ost. Let me get this out of the uh, out of the package here. This is a Ralph Ost straight razor. Yes, folks, I'm going to try to learn how to use a straight razor, and I'm going to start calling them. Uh, we're going to do a show straight razor Sundays. So from now on, I'm going to start to learn how to use a straight razor, and we'll do that on the Sunday videos. And Tuesday, Thursdays, I'll use the double edge. But it's got. Uh, Beautiful uh, coca. I don't know if you can see it. It's got beautiful coca bola scales on it. It's got some uh, lovely, I'll try and see, get that so you can see. It's got some lovely inscribing uh, from Fender Hands or about Fender Hands. I don't see if I can get that. It's a couple of wheat cheese. It's, anyway, it's got lovely uh, inscribing on it and it looks just awesome. So it's a fully polished blade. It's a full hollow grind, five, five eighths uh, full hollow grind. Uh, with the uh, barber's notch or Spanish point, whatever you'd like to call it. So anyways, that is going to be quite the learning curve, folks. Uh, I'm obviously, you know, uh, going to start out in the shallow end of the pond and work my way up. I've got, uh, I got all the stones I needed to uh, sharpen it. I bought uh, from 2,000 to 12,000 uh, uh, grit shaped in ceramic uh, whetstones. That should get me started. I've got a three inch wide uh, Harold Sullivan uh, leather strop. I've got some stropping paste. I think I've got everything I need uh, to get started. And uh, I'm sure that uh, people will have lots of tips and suggestions for me uh, going forward. What I didn't have, they were sold out of were slurry stones. So I got to wait for them to get some slurry stones in stock. I bought a stone flattener that worked well. I tried it today. So anyways, we've got some new things coming up on the channel, but for today, Today we are doing a double edge shave. I've got my Mercur 34G soaking in the sink. We'll get the old uh, shave towel and we'll get it in the hot water. Uh, I've got my other camera set up and we're just about ready to go get our shave underway here. Get you people onto the weekend as it heads near. I'm going to a little Halloween party with some friends later on. I'm not sure what exactly we're going to do, but I'm going to go anyway. Okay. All right, dump out the scuttle. All right. Get excess water out of shave towel. There we go. And now, as you guys know, we take this and this goes in the microwave for a minute and a half and I'll be right back once again, ladies and gentlemen. Do not go away. All right, and through the magic of television, it's just like I was just gone for a second. All right, here we go. Steaming towels, which you never can see hardly ever on camera. But they are definitely hot and steamy because I can't hold them in my hands for very long. We have to give it the old pizza trick here just so I'm not burning my hands. But it's definitely about a minute and a half, right around there. Your mileage may vary depending on how strong your microwave is. Oh, Get that giant turtleneck. There we go. Ah, I can feel that heat just going right into me. I'm very excited to try a straight razor. I've never, uh, never tried it before. I, uh, uh, poor girl at the store. I bought. Uh, I, I balked on this order twice. Twice I placed an order, and twice I canceled the order. And uh, this time I ch changed the razor I was looking at and, and uh, some other things. But uh, at the end of the day, I pulled the plug on it and today I got my parcel in. All right. Well, that's got the face all warmed up. Now we're going to use our Parasso pre-shave for today. We 
get some of that on while the old face is still nice and warm. This is their white formula, which I believe is oatmeal and green tea, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, those of you that missed my last video, as you can see, I've had my ears lowered. I went to a new barber shop called the Blessed Hands Barber Shop. I don't know how blessed his hands were, but his personality definitely could use an overhaul, but... Oh, well. He did an all right job for his first time cutting my hair, I guess. All right, we'll call that good. I'll let that sit for a minute while I'm tidying up here. And we'll get our lather going. All right, gang, we've got the uh, everything just about ready here. We're going to turn on this camera here. Get it ready so that we can uh, record making a lather. Okay, today's lather, by the way, we are going with uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street's Royal Forest, which is always one of my favorite scents. This stuff smells absolutely dynamite. If you haven't tried this one, it is definitely one of the premium scents from Taylor of Old Bond Street. It's, it smells absolutely wonderful, so we're going to use that. And we've got our uh, guitar pick here. Our, uh, we're going with the yellow uh, Donner guitar pick. Turn on the other camera, and here we go. We're going to scoop out our leather, and we'll get things going. Going to use about that much there. That much. Should be plenty. You guys are going to have to come back on Sunday and see how I do with my first first go with the straight razor. I've got. Uh, I bought some balloons. I'm going to be practicing on some balloons with some shaving cream to to uh, get the hang of it. They say to practice. Somebody, I had more than one person suggest to practice on balloons to get the feel for it. So I've got a bag of balloons, gentlemen. I heard and responded. All right. Pull out our brush, the Simpsons Trafalgar T3. It's ready to roll here, and we'll get working up our lather. Start out with almost no water. There might be a little bit left in the brush, but not much, not a lot. So we'll dribble in a little bit of water to help get it started. Oh, that's more than a little bit, but that'll probably be enough water to finish this. Uh, won't have to add any more. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes, Canada is becoming quite the land. Now you can buy pot on just about every street corner. You can buy pot. You can get a case of beer with that or a six pack of beer with it. I don't, I haven't seen a case of beer yet in the variety. I don't think they're allowed to sell the cases, but they do sell the six packs of beer now in most variety stores across uh, Ontario, which is new. Uh, uh, previous to this, all my life growing up, if I wanted beer, there was only one place to get it, and that was the beer store. You'd go to the old Canadian beer store, but oh, and uh, now the government has opened it up and taken away the monopoly because that's basically, let's face it, that's what it was. The uh, beer store had a monopoly on uh, on the selling of beer spirits in Canada now and the LCBO has a monopoly on selling uh, liquor and wines and, and the like so it's uh, taking you know, it's gonna take it's a double-edged sword where the government of Canada is gonna lose revenue by uh, opening it up to the stores on one hand and they're gonna gain revenue on the other so whether the government is gonna work out ahead of the game remains to be seen but it is certainly more convenient now no more, no more do I have to uh, call a delivery service. I can just walk to the local store, pick up a six pack of beer, and away we go. All right, gang, I'm going to call this good here. We've been playing around with it, and it's, it's looking pretty good, folks. I think that that'll get us through our shave. Turn off this camera here. Good. All right. Let me just wring the water out of this towel here. Get, get it ready to mop up after me. All right, be neat, be tidy. Yes, I have my leather strap, it's right 
they are hanging on the wall beside my mirror so it's in a good convenient spot I think I'm done with the uh, shave cream put it back all right here we go folks let's get this shave underway oh oh that oh, that warmth when it hits my face just does it every time it's just nothing like it an absolutely wonderful lather from Taylor of Old Bond Street it never fails to uh, never fails to deliver the goods Taylor of Old Bond Street they've been around for a long time for good reason they deliver the goods all right well I've got an idea let's get that straight razor out and uh, I'm gonna just take a swipe down this way and a swipe down that way and we'll see what that's like give me one second Now the word on the street is that these do not come shave ready, although I hear that uh, Ralph, or Ralph Ost is different, that you can actually shave right out of the box. So I'm going to try this. Just I'm just going to try and take a swipe down my cheek on either side. Maybe we'll start with my, uh, I don't know that it matters, but... Uh, this way all right that's it I'm stopping there that's it I just wanted to take a swipe there and a swipe down there and see how I got along with it just to kind of get a feel for it you can definitely you can definitely hear the blade talking to you because you get a lot more uh, you're getting a lot more um, uh, feedback from the blade you get a lot of feedback from these hollow grained uh, um, straight razors so anyways stick with me folks it'll be straight razor Sundays put that over there for now and we'll carry on that doesn't feel bad at all folks it feels pretty good there I'm just going to put a little bit of lather there. And we'll pretend I didn't do that. Okay, here we go, folks. Uh, a little Halloween shave. This, by the way, has a brand new derby blade in it, and it feels very good. Nice and smooth, no complaints. I think some people have a much rounder face than I do, and it makes it, it tends to lend itself. It's like the, the smooth, it's, uh, they have some smooth round edges to work with. Mine are nice and j are jagged, and I've got a large Adam apple that stands out, so it's hard for me to maneuver a straight razor uh, safely then I think some people just have a face that's more shavable than others if that's what I'm trying to say that's what I'm trying to say Yeah, I waffled. I didn't know what kind of straight razor to get. There was Tears of Zard. I At one time, I was looking at Tears of Zard. I looked at Adobo. They were all right around, everything I looked at was right around the same price, around 300 bucks. And ultimately, I settled on the Ralph Ost.
because although he, uh, the process is somewhat automated, he still finishes off his straight razors by hand, to the best of my knowledge. And uh, so I think the and most people said that the quality from Ralph Ost was consistently pretty high quality. So I went with the Ralph Ost. Uh, and we'll see how I do with it. We'll find out how I get along with it every Sunday. I'm going to check the edge out on this razor so I can see what a good edge looks like. And then when I sharpen it, I'm going to make sure I can get that kind of edge myself. All right, gang, I'm going to throw a little water on the face. It's funny, I can tell where I hit it with the uh, straight razor though. It's smooth where I hit it with the straight razor and uh, where the D left off, I can feel stubble. So there you, there you go. Looks like I'm gonna get a good close shave with the straight razor once I get the hang of it. I be a watching and a learning. Oh, well, I see blood by my ear. I must have, Jesus, I must have touched my ear. Yep, I did. <laughs> I didn't even recall touching my ear. I must have, there's a little nick there. I'll have to check the replay. Did I do that with the razor? Well, straight razor or the uh, double edge razor? I'm capable of nicking with either one. But, uh, long way from my heart. Oh, this is a nice lather. Love to smell this lather. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. This is a good one. It's a good lather and it's got a wonderful scent to it. Here we go, cross grain. Uh, well, I thought I was careful, but apparently, folks, I was not careful enough. My mother warned me about playing with sharp things. I'm not looking forward to doing across my uh, jawline either with a straight razor. I think I have a challenging face to shave, but we're just going to take it. Uh, we're just going to take it slow. Practice on some balloons. Try to get the feel for it. for the third and final pass. Oh, I've always been very, very satisfied with the shave that I got from a DE blade because I thought that, uh, thought that these do a much better job than the cartridge razors. And I'm thinking that the, the uh, straight razor is gonna be better than that even. Here, well, what did I do? Well, whatever it is, it's a nice straight clean cut. I don't know which one I nicked that with. I'll have to look back in the replay. Was it the straight razor that I nicked it with? Just bumped it? So all you gotta do is bump something with that blade. It is indeed razor sharp. We'll have to check the replay. All right, here we go. Oh, the lather is nice and warm. That scuttle keeps it nice and warm. That was probably my best purchase of the whole shaving thing, you guys, was this scuttle because the guy sold out I don't know if he's ever gonna make any more of them, but he certainly seemed to know what a shaver was looking for. It's a wonderful scuttle. All right. Face full of lather and we're good to go. I don't think I'm gonna dress up when I go out tonight to the party. I'm just gonna go as myself and Let the kids dress up. All right. Doing a little riding the cap. Being careful. Not to 
take my sideburns off. Pesky jawline. I am not looking forward to trying to get in places like here with a straight razor. I guess you can be cruel when you do cut yourself. Anyway, how'd you cut yourself? Using the straight edge this morning. Using the straight razor on my face. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. All right. All right, it was three passes. And we are smooth as a hot oil pane of glass. That's hard for me to believe that a straight edge could could give you a better shave than that, but uh, I'm thinking it can and it will. So where is my little block alum here? We'll get the little block alum. I'm gonna pull the plug on this operation and I'll be back in just a minute, gang. Okay, gang, I got things tidied up. We're just gonna take the block of alum. My uh, ear injury stopped with a little touch of alum. So we're just gonna do the rest of my face now. And I'm not feeling any spots that feel too rough. Actually, there we Feels pretty good. So, Sunday will be the first episode of Straight Razor Sunday. Uh, could be also called uh, Gary bludgeons himself uh, nearly to death with new Straight Razor. That could be an alternate working title, but hopefully not. I'm just going to ease into it. I'm just going to ease into it like I'm going to live to be 120. And go slow with it. All right, I'm going to just let that sit for a minute while I uh, dry off the block of alum. Those that watch me, you know the drill. Hang on, that's too much maybe. There we go. Uh, yes, I've been watching honing videos and stropping videos and... It's almost enough to confuse you sometimes because uh, everybody's got uh, a different opinion on things. But uh, uh, you can always pick up a few good ideas. Oh, what do we got here? Man down, man down. Okay, we put the block of alum away. It's all dry. And now we're going to take our face cloth. Get rid of the alum. There we go. Oh, the old face feels nice and smooth. Pat the old face dry. I say you're supposed to pat it dry, not rub it dry. All right, and here we go. We're going to finish with the Taylor Rolled Bond Street's Royal Forest Luxury Aftershave Cream, it says. Well, Luxury Aftershave Cream for moi. Poor moi. Right there, we're going to use about that much, gang. This stuff is thicker and creamier than Nivea by far. And it's just going to work work well when I put the cologne on. Also, Luxury Royal Forest Aftershave. This video is turning into be almost 25 minutes long. I may have to edit some parts down. If I do edit, I try not to edit out of the shaving sequence. I try to edit some of the other parts out, but uh, we'll see how it goes, folks, when I'm doing the editing for this video. Uh, all right, well, here we go. This is the Royal Forest Luxury Aftershave. A couple of squirts of this. There we go. We're going to call that good. Well, listen, if you're out there with your kids tonight uh, trick-or-treating, have yourselves a spectacular night out with the kids. Uh, don't let any of them eat too much candy or they'll be sick, of course. And I will see you guys uh, in November for Straight Razor Shave on Sunday. I'll see you there, guys.